Welcome to Iron Man Raid Specialist, featuring Huan Man Raid. The goal of this series is to acquire gear and skills to perfect a Raid 1 Specialist account. Every 75 raids I can go for one of 19 upgrades necessary to build this account, ending at 1500 soul raids. Please enjoy the series. That's back when Jagex confirmed the raid, you know, so it's probably slightly rarer now. <gasps> oh, purple. Let's go. Holy shit. I mean, damn. We're only a little bit dry, man. It was only like 47 raids dry, you know. Overall, man, we are, we've been just getting pretty damn lucky, so. <laughs> Holy shit. Let's go. I think I'll do a dance, you know. Here we go. Oh, dance more work. All right. That's, that's another placeholder. Okay. Damn, was really hoping to see an ancestral item there, dude. That would really sway my decision on what I want to upgrade next, but uh we got another Din's Din's bulwark, yeah. Now we have two of them, you know, placeholder days, so So on the last episode I unlocked our fourth upgrade, which was the Pegasian boots. So now we are working towards getting 375 KC so that we can work on our fifth upgrade, which was decided to be the Inferno Cape. I gotta say, the 12 range bonus is actually super noticeable. My current setup for raids is Tribrid Void, so that means all three styles, and that includes Void Range. So Void Range sacrifices accuracy for higher damage output potential. So it's really good against things that have low range defense, but not the best against things that have high range defense. In raids, there are bosses that are really low range defense, and then there are bosses that are like moderately to high range defense. But on rooms like Skeleton, Mage Vanguards, um, a bit of Fossa even, and Ice Demon, and maybe a few others, you will notice no zeros with Void on. So with the Pegasian Boots, it is quite noticeable how much more I'm hitting with the blowpipe on those rooms that have higher range resistance, as you can see in the video. And it definitely has led to some faster raid times overall. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so now that I'm 90 woodcutting, I can cut some redwood trees. I have 50,000 teak logs and I don't plan on getting 99 construction on here. And quite frankly, they're not super AFK or anything, so... At this point, editing videos is a bit of a struggle. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and I believe it's on the tree section. I'm going to go ahead and plant myself a redwood tree. It would be nice to do the redwood trees here at the farming guild because banking it is a bit more convenient here. Yeah, being able to bank within like a matter of two steps is quite nice. What the heck? Uh, really? Damn, dude. Beginner clue scrolls too from Burstness, huh? This is the new stuff. Uh, mainly geared towards free to play. Oh wait, 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 wait. What the hell did I just see here? Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna have some nightmares now. Holy shit. Nine more cutting. Not bad, man. I mean, shit. We've come a long way, man. Can't wait to get 99 woodcutting actually. Just about halfway there almost. I got blood runes. What the hell? 952 blood runes, 952 mithril orders. God dang it. Shit, I don't know where it is. Oh, yikes. Why is it every time I f that part up with electricity portal? That shit summons the portal all the way to Narnia. God damn it, man. Seriously. I'm just gonna try to land this so. Okay. Wow, I didn't realize that that could actually kill it. Ooh, I would have been so screwed if uh, I killed it. That would have been really bad. Oh my god, I got another Onyx. Oh my god. That's my second Onyx from Tecton. Holy shit. Oh man, that actually happened again. It happened again, guys. Oh my goodness, dude. Okay. Hell yeah. I need those Onyxes anyways. You know, we got, uh, we need... Two more onyxes for the other Xana jewelries. So, yeah, baby, check out the loot for for this raid. Two onyxes. Can't wait to turn these into Xanites at some point. All right. So I have all the items that I wanted to get for the Inferno. I was initially thinking about going for the SGS, but honestly, I don't have any of the Godsword shards, and I also have to get a hill. So. 
Even if I do get lucky and get the hilt, I still have to get three shards. So that could take a long time. And you know what? I'm not trying to, you know, take forever to get ready for the Inferno. So I'm going to get started as soon as I can. So there are some things that I really, really need to get. And fortunately, it isn't going to be RNG. And the things I still need to get are simply just better ammunition. I want to get Dragon Bolts for the Inferno. Because I'm going to be using a crossbow, I want to use the best bolts I got. Dragon Diamond, Dragon Rubies. So that means I got to kill some Vorkath and collect some ammunition from it. And uh, also, I need some fletching levels. I'll talk more about the fletching on another episode because there's like a big plan with that. But yeah, Vorkath is going to be my big ticket boss that I need to farm to get ready for the Inferno. To prepare for the Vorkath grind, I bought myself 400 anti-poison potions. They're going to be really good because I don't have anti-venom and I'm not going to bother trying to get herb level for anti-venom or the plus just because with the method that I will be doing using POH every kill, I'll show you in a second, it's actually going to be quite effective. I was testing the mid skill area for the blue dragon scales and this area is so much better. You can complete an inventory and get back to this place so much faster than the one in Tavoy. So definitely use this one if you have it. And instead of banking the normal way, I'm just going to use my butler to bank all the stuff for me because you know why? I have the pool now so that means I can easily just reset all my run energy, you know, using the pool. At the same time, kill two birds, one stone. And then go right back in for another round of scales. It's beautiful. So the setup that I'm using for Vorkath is super standard. This is basically best in slot range gear for Vorkath. The only thing that isn't best in slot, I guess, is my bolt and the shield. Also, my side weapon is the blowpipe. I use it to heal during the poison or ice phase later. First kill is going really good. I'm still hitting like high 60s or mid 60s. Oh, that's another 60 right there. God damn, just the amount of 60s I hit is ridiculous. All right, we got the kill. First kill. Interesting, the time, two minutes. Yeah, man, Dragon Hunter Crossbow is just too goddamn strong, man. So this is my trip strategy. Every kill, I just teleport to my house and I just reset all my stats, including the Venom. And then I just bank whatever I don't need. Once I am done banking, I just talk to a regular Lunar NPC and he'll kick you out, which is right outside the boat to Vorkath. So really easy way to get back. Oh Holy shit, did I just hit a 74? Wait, you can hit 74s with, with Addy Diamonds? What in tarnation? Third kill. Oh, personal best already. 145. <laughs> yeah, man. Only took three tries to beat the melee setup. Nice. Got a heal. Even though it won't register as any physical damage to it, I still would heal whatever it was supposed to hit, you know. Apparently, I PB'd a while ago and I didn't even realize it. Wait, 145 and then... 140. Oh, five kills in. Alright, got myself some Lava Dragon uh, scales when I was hunting to upgrade my uh, Magic Shortbow and Bew during the Zora Grind way back in the day. So, I'm going to use it to make some extended antifires, you know? Oh, shit. Just got our first uh, Dragon Bolt drop so far. In 15 kills, I think we... uh. How many did we get before this? 236, nice. Alright, cool. We have 300 now. Oh shit, 113! Oh my god. 147. Oh nice, Dragon Balls, that's huge. 98. Nice, Rune Dart Tips. Nice seal. Oh my god, 40 now with the Blowpipe. Easy game. Nice, another dragon dart tips. Man, you definitely don't get too bad of a, an amount right here. Nice, oh my god, dude, this is the best drop I could get. Dragon bolts with dragon dart tips. Damn, dude, now that's beautiful. Mm -mm. Oh my god, again, dude. 
Hey, nice. On the 100th kill, I got myself another uh, dragon bolts. That's awesome. All right, what's my bolt supply looking like? 661 with 268. So it seems like dragon dart tips are about half of what I would get. Very realistic then to actually use use them at Inferno. Holy shit, that was a really fast kill, I thought. Hey, 111. All right, cool. Oh, server, excuse me, what the f- Okay, I hate when the servers does this, dude. Every time. Stop. It literally just disappears. 78 for cats. Wow, actually I've made like 11 mil. Jeez, I wonder how much of that is actually uh, alkables here, but... 600... Dragon Bolts from uh, almost 80 kills. Let's look at the Rune Dart Tips. 400 Rune Dart Tips. 271 Dragon Dart Tips. Holy shit, 42.45, dude. Man, this change, man. Honestly, I like it. Dragon Bolts and finish. Okay, I, th I think this might be one of the last batches here. Do, 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 do. Let's see what we got here. Oh, nice. A thousand Dragon Bolts. Okay, that's awesome. I believe a thousand Dragon Bolts should be good enough for all the Infernos that I will be doing. Now, I think I'm still probably gonna do some Vorkath in between because I do want to accumulate some Rune Darts and Dragon Darts because this might be the clutch ammunition that I might end up needing to do a successful run. Oh my god, these hits. Oh my god. Oh my god, come on. Holy shit. Holy shit, that's a sub one minute. That is a sub one minute. Let's get it. 56 seconds, let's get it. Oh, that's beautiful. Oof, that was a beastly PV right there. Easy, easy way to do the cosmic right now because of the POH. Got my fair ring and infinite run energy. So yeah, room crafting cosmics has never been better. I need to make a lot. Just gotta enchant those bolts, you know, while that PVMing. Alrighty, Dan. One thousand cosmic made in record time. Damn, that was so fast. Oh yeah, I forgot to uh, actually pay the entry fee to the Inferno, so I'm going to do that now. Let me prove it. I have an idea if you can sacrifice your fire cape to me, I take your word. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, hand it over. Okay. So yeah, I swear I didn't hand over a fire cape before, but yeah, okay. So this is going to be the setup I'm going to be going with for now. This isn't perfect because I still don't have the dragon darts that I would like. Pretty scuffed setup here, you know, as best as I could. Got ourselves a uh, blow put ACB D hide. And uh, for magic, just Aram's top. And for supplies, I'm trying to go with 10 restores. Everything here, not counting pre pots, that'd be 9 brews. One range pot, might want 2, depending on how these attempts go. My two bolts, obviously, switches, uh, water runes inside, runes for blood barrage, ice barrage. Yeah, this is just to test the waters. Double checking here, I don't think I'm missing anything. I think we're good to try here. Alright, we're in. Let's do this. God dang it. Stupid bat. I hate this guy. He lowered my, uh, my magic. Oh, server. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, that thing can auto cast even though you're taking off your armor. Okay. Knowing this is super useful because whenever I do need to heal, I have to take off a bunch of my gear because those are very negative magic bonuses. Best spawn ever, right there. All right, we're going into the major waves now.
Ow, that hurts. Ah, oh, damn it. I have to use a brew. Pretty sure I have to, because if I don't, I'm pretty fucked. I have to use Augury. Jesus Christ. God damn it. Ow. Oh shit. Oh, I gotta eat up. God. Actually, no, not right now. Oh, this is gonna be pretty tough. Yikes. Ah. Uh. Alright, I had to do that. Oh, that's fucked. Yes, that's good. I got them. Oh, are you serious? Fuck. God damn it, man. Ah, oh, that was rough, dude, but I got back to 4 HP. Oh man, that's so unfortunate. Oh dang it, that's gonna hit me. Oh shit. Oh, okay, that was fucking rough. Damn, I need this pillar. Ah, oh, great. Not really sure how I want to do this anymore. Yeah, that pill is gonna have to go. I don't really... I can't save it. Oh, shit. Fucking goddamn. Oh, shit, I'm dead. I don't really have a choice anymore. Shit. <gasps> no! Oh, I misclicked there. God damn it. First attempt, 63, but I started losing focus there. Unfortunate. Oh, well. Let's see here. I mean, first attempt back in a few months, especially with this gear, it's not bad, I guess. Food-wise, I took a lot of food, but there were quite quite a few things I could have done better. And then I would have saved myself probably at least two brews, so... But I feel like this setup's pretty good overall. It's just, uh... Just getting back to the waves, getting used to the waves again is what I really, really need. Alright guys, this is where we're going to be wrapping up this video. Took forever to make this video, but I think it turned out really nice. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Next episode is going to be uh, pretty uh, awesome. If you guys really enjoyed the video, please give this video a like so that the YouTube algorithm can do its thing and, you know, spread the word. It seems to be working, so really appreciate the support lately. And uh, we also have that sponsorship thing that I've been talking about uh, coming in soon, maybe in the next video. I like the beginning, so just a little warning for that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today. And I will see you guys soon with another video in a few days. Yeah, take care and bye-bye.